Meanwhile, the Coalition of Civil Society Groups has decried what it termed as attempted blackmail and extortion against the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, NNPCL, and other government entities over allegations of 48 million barrels missing crude oil. At a press briefing held in Lagos, the co-convener of the group, Declan Ihekere, vehemently condemned the allegations being purported by George Obo, describing it as serial blackmail. According to Ihekere, the group's concern stemmed from recent allegations raised by Obo following a resolution by the House of Representatives in December 2022 to probe the purported missing 48 million barrels of crude oil purportedly sold in China by certain Nigerian officials. While acknowledging their stands against corruption within public and private institutions, Hekaira emphasized the necessity of addressing such concerns through proper legal channels rather than resorting to blackmail or extortion. We're here to say fighting corruption must be done rightly, not through blackmail. However, the appropriate channels for addressing such concerns are through established legal process, not through coercion, blackmail, or extortion. The Coalition of Civil Society Groups firmly believes in the principles of due process and the rule of law. Every citizen, regardless of their status or affiliation, is entitled to a fair and just legal proceeding. Mr. Obo's action, on the other hand, represents a blatant disregard for these principles and poses a threat to the stability and credibility of our legal system. It's essential for all citizens to trust and have confidence in our legal institutions. By attempting to subvert due process through blackmail and extortion, Mr. Ubo undermines the very foundations of justice that our society rallies on. Where you have petitioned the National Assembly and they have worked, investigate, and come up to the fact that this person has no case to answer. I don't see any reason why you want to push for that. It shows clearly there's an internal motive for that person that is doing this thing and why he's doing it. And that is why we are here, to say, look, we are not in support of anybody blackmailing or when you don't have enough evidence to come up with what you are claiming, then you should go and rest. And that's our own position. We need to be conscious and circumspect of one fact that somebody that uh, have the notoriety to blackmail, you know, serially, and uh, somebody that has been confirmed as an ex-convict, who is still you know, going around, you know, blackmailing. I think by now, the DSS, you know, and the local enforcement agents, you know, should in you know, swing into action and make sure, you know, this man, you know, is put behind bars. Even who are sad must prove. And if there are processes in court, which is legal, which is normal, I think we should allow that thing to slide away before any further action. Anybody who does that, who does contrary, remains a suspect and he has ulterior motive. And that's why we're saying that as progressive elements and as Nigerians who are patriotic about this country, whatever we do must be in line with the laid down rules, regulation, and law of the land. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.